Leadership is more about influence than it is about control, and it's, it's about preserving power. One of the little phrases we always use in describing our responsibility to those who are placed above us is never let the boss run out of options. You want to make sure you preserve options, you preserve power, you build power, and sometimes that means you exert less control and you find ways to share problems rather than um, take them on kind of unilaterally or by yourself. We're seeing a power shift away from traditional power structures. And the second thing that we're seeing both in organizations and within our country is a seeming divide. And we argue that it's actually because of concentrated control. And that the more you control, the more divided, the more exclusive your organization becomes. The instinct when you feel as though your power is dissipating is to kind of grab control, to, to recapture that which you think you've lost. And that may in fact be exactly the wrong answer. It may be in fact that if you really want to preserve real power that produces optimum outcomes and that outcomes that will endure, you have to relinquish control, grab the knowledge that is only possible to have throughout the organization, not just at one end of it, and in so doing, you form this inclusiveness that leads to greater knowledge, that leads to better outcomes, that becomes more affordable in the sense of, of the business world and, and, and less risky in the sense of military operations. 